Normally, when you go bird watching, you're on the ground looking up. But one group of enthusiasts has been on the same level as the birds, and they've been trying that they've been trying to spot. They've seen some extraordinary sights. Well, Wendy Hurrell can tell us more. She's, uh, I think, got both feet firmly on the ground in uh, one of London's hidden wildlife reserves. Wendy. You wouldn't believe this, but I'm actually in King's Cross. Just over there, the familiar bustle of people and revving engines. The Eurostar train goes that side, canal boats this side, but you'd hardly know it. It's so peaceful here. This is the Camley Street Natural Park, created 25 years ago out of a local coal yard. It's two acres big and a little oasis for the people and the creatures of central London. And that's the thing about London. For such a big, busy city, it's actually very green. You're never that far away from the wildlife. And Sometimes you can see it from the most unlikely places, as our urban birder, David Lindo, explains. We're on top of Tower 42, London's second tallest building, 600 feet above the streets. And we are looking for, and have been for the last few weeks, migrating birds. Peregrine, close to us, just below the horizon. Just about to head on the Elephant and Castle. Practically every day we see peregrines, some really close up and doing their spectacular dives. We've um, on most occasions seen buzzards um, and we've seen some rarer birds like two honey buzzards, incredibly rare, uh, on the same day, literally half an hour between each other, which is great. When you first come up here, um, you, I think you're blown away by the scenery. It's an amazing vista looking across the whole of London. But picking out birds is actually surprisingly difficult. OK, Sam, what you need to do is actually look along the uh, landscape, look at the horizon, and you're looking for small dots that might be coming towards us. There might be gulls, but potentially there could be birds of prey. No one ever seems to think about what sort of birds flying over London at all, but you get such a massive range from peregrines to house martins and honey buzzards and things like that. It's, just, it's, it's amazing. These are birds which... You know, not too long ago, a few decades, decades ago, were really on their knees nationally. Um, and because of conservation measures and because of changes in attitudes towards birds of prey, we're seeing all these species doing really well. This survey has been absolutely fantastic because it's shown us that large birds of prey do indeed use London to travel across on their way north to their breeding grounds. It's an ongoing survey because we are going to come back in the autumn to watch for the migrants coming back heading south. So this time next year, we'll have a really good picture of what happens during the course of a year over London. And you can do a little bit of species spotting yourself at our Spring Watch Wild Day Out at the Alexandra Palace this Saturday. There's loads going on, including a bio blitz, which is to spot as much wildlife as you possibly can set against the clock. You can find all the details on our website, bbclondon.co.uk, and I'll be back in just a tick to tell you what the weather's going to be like. Hopefully not like this. Wendy, thank you.